Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt, and this is part 11 in our Learn How to Mix video series. And in this, ser uh, this session here, we're going to work on the samples, the offbeat synth, the lead synth, and the lead 32, uh, these synth parts. And so if we start with the samples right here, what we have going on here is just two different samples. Let me, I'm, I'm going to solo this so you can listen to it. It's a ride here. And listen to it again. And one thing I noticed right off the bat is it's panned to the, it's panned to the right within the NNXT, it must be. And then we have this, this intro uh, sound he's got going here. Let me listen to that again. And so what we have is two different sounds on one track, and they're going to be they're going to need totally different EQing. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm just going to I'm going to duplicate it like I did in uh, the last video. It's just the easiest way. And another way to do it is just press duplicate uh, duplicate channels and tracks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this sample uh, intro intro and then I'll sample rod and then I'll change it over here this is going to be the intro and sample rod now this is our ride so we can just get rid of the intro and we keep all the rides there and then we'll make this a little smaller just by pressing the G key and get rid of our rides on the, uh, the intro part good now press save okay so let's go into the let's go into the uh, the NNXT and find the sound and here's here's the ride and you can always find out what it is you can play it on your keyboard or you can just say edit sample and just play it okay I know that's the ride and down here I can see that it's panned right and so I can just press command the command key and then click on the uh, the actual pan knob and it will set it back to zero or unity or default so it's there we go now let's listen to the ride within the mix Okay, also I, I, I can hear that, that that ride is accenting the ride that is already in the drum kit. And that would be right here. So let's, let's, uh, let's solo both these and see how they act together, just, just so I can hear it. So it's accenting it, um, it, it's almost like it's, it's accenting it for the lower, the lower sound of it. So what, we can keep that in mind. Now let's listen to it here. Okay, we're going to have to do a little EQing on that. This is our ride. Let's just set our locators here. You know, you can press the Option or Alt key. We'll give you the left. Command or Control key will give you uh, the right locator. Okay. 
So I'm just going to take out some of the lows there. And then I'm going to try and find boost. I'm going to boost with the E mode, a, a narrower cue here, and just see what we can hear. <laughs> sounds good and let's go to our intro and hear what we see what we can do with that I'm just gonna uh, press the P key like that let's listen to it without it and then with it Maybe a little more air in it Nothing is, is rock solid yet because once we start panning and getting our volumes together and you know adding effects and stuff, we're just getting it in a, giving it some space in the mix, that's all. Okay, so let's move on to our, uh, our leads. Yeah, so we'll be working on these, these three synthesizer parts right here. And we can just hone in on them. So let's listen to see what we got going on here. Okay, 
sounds like, uh, from what I'm hearing, is this synth part here is a little on the lower end, and this one's taking care of a little bit of the higher end. So let's just uh, let's get into the EQ. Let's see what we have going on here. Offbeat synth. Set our locators here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get right here. I'm gonna get so all of them are playing at the same time. So I'll just press P here. <laughs> Let's unmute them so we can EQ them here in the mix. Okay, this is our offbeat, so we'll get rid of some of the lows. So I'm using a band pass. This is would be called a band pass here. Uh, EQ style band pass filter. And so what I'm going to do here is listen to the next, uh, the lower, the lead synth, which is kind of taking care of the lower end here. See, it's see that's your lead synth, and here's your lead 32. A little more, it's, it's a little more on the higher end. I'm going to put a band pass on this guy too. listen to it without. Just gives it a little more. I don't want to crank it up, I just want to give it a little more, a little more air in there, a little more presence. Let's go to our lead. Automatically I'm taking out some of the lows. We'll try the band on this one. Let's try the E mode. I'm liking that so far and so basically what I'm thinking here and how I'm doing it is uh, we got our our offbeat uh, synth here and then we have the the lower end of the lead and the higher end of the lead you know they're both playing different parts but you know there's no reason to have them both playing the same you know in the same frequency range so we've got some separation between the the uh, the two lead synth parts and then our uh, 
our bip, our offbeat bip uh, synth here. And I think it sounds, uh, I, I'm liking it. So I'll, I'll play through this and we'll just turn it. Let's, let's go one pass through. Uh, let's go one pass through without the EQs at all on the synths. Let's turn them all off. And, and then we'll do one pass with, it, with the, them on. And uh, we can hear uh, the, uh, the difference. Just subtle changes, notching out some lows, and just adding in some, uh, some uh, frequencies here and there. Can make a, just, that's how you sculpt it all out. Put on our EQs. Okay, let's listen to it here with the EQs on. Okay, so I think that does it for these uh, tracks. We've, we've got uh, a good handle on where I want them to be in the mix. And in the next video, we will do our vocals and our uh, vocal samples here. And I'm really looking forward to that because we will have gone through every single track and EQ'd everything, and then we'll be moving on to other phases of the mix. Again, I'm going through, I'm gonna go through this mix series methodically and in detail in every aspect. I think there's gonna be a ton more videos on this, but I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's really go at, go at it piece by piece, element by element, and just dissect it and, and see what we can do with it in the end. And uh, in the end, we have our raw mix, our balance mixed, and the original mix that we can compare everything to, which uh, that's gonna be really cool. So. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, and please come and look at our, our new uh, LearnReason.com site, whole new site now, as of 6-1-2014, and let me know what you think, and also subscribe and share. It's the only way you can give back, and it's 100% free. You guys take care.